Hi guys, we can use static keyword with class, variable, method and block. We'll learn the concept of static class and static blocks in upcoming videos. In this video, we'll learn about static variables and static methods. So what are static variables? Let's first see how to create a static variable. It's simple. Just write the keyword static before the variable declaration. For example, static int data. Now what are the properties of static variables? Static variables are unique because only one copy of static variable is created and it is shared by all the objects of that class. Let's understand what I just said by an example. Here I just created a class demo with a static variable as static counter and an instance variable as instance counter. Now this method counter just increment both our variables by one. Display count method simply displays the value in both the variables. Inside our main method, I have created three objects R1, R2 and R3 of our class demo. And these objects call the counter method. At the end, the display count method is called by the third object and it displays the value inside both the variables. Now can you guess the output of this program? The value in static variable is 3 and in instance variable is 1. Let's understand why this happened. Now according to our definition, only one copy of static variable is created and it is shared by all the objects. It means that static counter is created only once in memory and all the objects can access that variable. Now when R1 object calls the counter method, the instance variable is incremented by 1 and static variable is incremented by 1. The same procedure occurs when R2 calls counter. Static counter is incremented to 2. Finally, when R3 calls counter method, instance counter in R3 is incremented by 1 and static counter is incremented by 1. So therefore the output is showing that the static variable has 3 in it and instance variable has 1 in it. So this is the same program as we have seen. The only thing I change is the class name that is practice. You can pause the video and take a look at our code. So let's run our code. And static count is 3 and instance count is 1. One thing I forgot to teach you is you can't declare or create a static variable inside a method. So inside some method I have just created one static variable and it's showing modify static not allowed here. Now keep in mind that static variables are class variables and you should always declare static variables inside class. Now the concept of static method is very easy. So how to create a static method? Simple. Just write the static keyword in front of method declaration. For example, static white calculate. Now how static methods are different than concrete that is our regular methods. To call our regular method, we need an object. Without object of that class, you can call methods of that class. But static methods belong to the class. It means that you can call static method from anywhere just by using its class name. For example, class website. Now to call the static method site name, we don't need to create any object of website class. 
we can simply write class name that is website dot method name that is site name and this will call our method we'll see this stuff practically in a minute but first let's see some restrictions for static method you can't call non static variable or method directly in static method for example in our class practice you can't call non static methods or variables in our class main for example if the float pi is static then you can call it inside main but if i remove the static keyword then we can't call the non static variable in our static method and there is another restriction that is we can't use this and super keyword okay we will learn about this concept in our upcoming videos here site name is a static method and i have created a regular method just to show you the difference so here we are calling static method directly just by using class name and our program works perfectly now to call the regular method we need to create an object so i am creating object of class practice now let's call the regular method and our program runs successfully now points to remember you can call non static methods or variable inside static method so i am creating a non static variable that is data and if i try to call that variable data inside a static method so let's see what happens non static field cannot be referenced so you can call a non static guys visit code archery and try to solve the exercises i created for you like code archery facebook page and join our group you can also support me on patreon and if you like my work then please hit that like button and share my videos thank you so much for subscribing